Today we are making jerk mushrooms. But before we make jerk mushroom, we must first marinate the mushroom. So. All right, so these caps are just beautiful. You want nice, thick, meaty caps. Like this size is just perfect. Water on a paper napkin and you're gonna gently rub and clean off the portobello mushrooms. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And take off the stem part. And if you really want a nice, thick, sticky texture, we are going to take off the gills from the mushrooms. I'm just gonna clean this part off. And it just takes away from like the earthy taste that this gills gives it. It's quick and easy. If you want, you can keep it like this. I prefer to take mine off, especially when I'm making steaks. And we do the same thing to the other side. We take off the going to cut each in three all right so now that we have cut and clean our mushroom it's time for us to marinate them so we are going to get a lovely ziploc bag and we're just going to input them in the bag Now that we have all of our mushrooms in here, we are now going to put our lovely marinade from earlier. And anyone who has jerked anything before knows that the jerk sauce and the marinade is the most important step. So basically letting this sit before cooking it really enhances the flavor. and gives it that nice jerk taste we are going for. So now that our marinade is, we're not gonna pour all of it on now. We're just gonna put in some and leave some for later. Gotta make sure every mushroom gets a little bit of the marinade on it. So now that we have the marinade on it, we're also going to input our lovely jerk sauce, which would be on the next video. This is nice and creamy, and this really gives it that smoky taste that we're going for. A few drops of our jerk sauce. Just need a few. All right, and we're going to shake this up and make sure every single mushroom have a little bit of that marinade and a little bit of the jerk sauce in it. You can do this in a bowl, but the reason why I chose to do it in a bag is because one, it saves time. And it's like, why make a mess if you don't need to? And you have to be gentle, very gentle when you're shaking this up. Because you don't want the mushroom to lose its shape but the least you can let it marinate for is two hours if you leave this in for two days oh my god this is going to be awesome it's smelling so good in here gonna put a little bit more of the marinade in there So now that our cast iron is heated, it's time for us to grill our jerk mushroom.
You can use a regular cast iron pan. The reason why I'm using this pan is because it helps me grill a lot more and it gives the mushroom a really nice charcoal flavor and grilled look. Juicy marinade on there. We're also going to put some. Just a little bit, not a lot, because already marinated in it. Some of the veggies because why not? All right, we're gonna flip. Look at that lovely. Lovely color that it has. Oh my god. This, this is amazing. Oh my god. This is going to be some really juicy, juicy, juicy jerk steak. what your final product should look like. You have some lovely jerk mushrooms and rasta pasta. Try this recipe, let me know what you guys think, and like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.